What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and uh, today it's going to be a fun one. Now originally I wanted this to be a actually a hiking video up in South Lake Tahoe but some things happened to where I wasn't actually able to film uh, entirely as much as I wanted to so that kind of got x made. Still a great trip though. Highly, highly recommend going if you haven't been there but today I want to use the experience that I had up there with a certain product to make a product review. So let's get into it. I had to move back into the office just because it was getting way too hot outside. I do live in Arizona, so temperature wise, hold on, I don't even know what it is today. Hey Siri, what's the temperature today? The high temperature for today will be 111 degrees and the low will be 90. So, yeah, my camera, and it's still showing the little overheating sign right there, and also, too, I was starting to sweat, and I know I made coffee out there in 109 degree heat, but you cannot have enough coffee. I, you, I don't care who you ask, you can't have enough coffee. No, you can't. You can't have enough. So, not too long ago, I made a video about this bag, Hold on. About this bag. This is the Peak Design travel backpack. I believe it's a 45 liter. I believe that's what it is. The 45 liter. 45 liter. It's in the sage gray, so it's not the black one. But uh, yeah, I made a video about this one saying, is this the perfect camera bag? And even when I made that video, it was more of a question to you guys, but then also a question to myself, just because the fact is, I think it is a great camera bag, but I do not think it is the perfect camera bag. But today, uh, I think I have found the perfect camera bag for me for quite some time, if not for the rest of my photography career. Now, when I was using the Peak Design bag, it was great for a lot of things. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of good storage, especially for going on plane rides, packing clothes, packing some snacks and things of that nature but I was using it primarily for a hiking camera bag. So with that being said, I was potentially going on anywhere from a mile to 10 plus mile hikes with this camera bag. And I was noticing a lot of discomfort in the shoulder area because of just the weight and there was just not as much padding. The hip straps were not beefy and robust enough for myself, so it just tended to hurt a little bit more. And yes, there is a lot of room, but there was only enough room for my camera gear and maybe some snacks and a down jacket for those colder days. But let's just say if I wanted to actually pack more, like camping gear, there was just no place for that to go in this bag. Now, I will not be getting rid of this bag because I do love it. It is great for traveling and I will definitely be using it for that. But for my hiking photography adventures, it's not gonna be the bag for me anymore. So you're asking, what is the bag for me now? Hold on, I'll show you. Ugh. All right, hold on, let me readjust this. So this is the Atlas bag right here. This is the Atlas Adventure, which hopefully you can see right there. But yes, this is the Atlas Adventures. So there are two different versions. There are the Adventure bag, and then there's also gonna be the Athlete bag, which I do not own, and by the way, I'm definitely not sponsored by these guys. I am just a fan of their products and I really support the bags that they are and I love it. Now, Atlas Packs is going to be specifically a pack company. They are specifically making bags like this one for adventures and photographers alike. So for me, the reason why I went with the larger one, which is the adventure bag over the athlete bag, was because I wanted that extra space. Now the athlete bag is a bag that I am probably going to be picking up, not soon, but eventually, just because I want something a bit smaller for day hikes versus the longer treks that I particularly bought this bag for and the camping backpacking trips out in the backcountry. Now when I first bought this bag, I had a few people ask me, hey, when's the review coming? When are you gonna be telling us about this bag? Now I definitely do not like to buy something and then make a review initially within only owning it for a few days or a few hours, just because I feel like you can't actually get a real judgment of how the product is. So I've owned this bag probably for about four to five months now, and I've used it on day hikes, I've used it on backpacking trips, I've used it on camping trips, which is 
what this was actually supposed to be. This video was supposed to be a camping trip video, but things happened, so it is what it is. But I still wanna use the experience I had with this bag on the trip that I was just on and give you a good review of what I think this bag is capable of and who or why you might want to have this bag as your own. So you guys may or may not know, but I am a Fuji shooter. I've been using Fuji cameras for roughly about a year now, maybe a little bit longer, and when I originally bought this bag, I had two Fujifilm cameras and three lenses. So I had an X-T3, actually, no, I had, yeah, no, I had I had an X-T3 and I had the new X-T4, and I had three lenses, which were the 8 to 16 millimeter 2.8, the 100 to 400 4.5 to 5.6, lens and then I have and still have the 16 to 55 millimeter 2.8. Now since then I have sold the Fujifilm X-T3 and the 100 to 400 so I do not currently have those in my arsenal but I still have my X-T4 with the 8 to 16 millimeter and the 16 to 55 millimeter. Even when I had the two camera bodies and those three lenses everything fit in this bag perfectly. I had room to spare. Now I also at one point had a drone and I sold that just because I wasn't getting enough use out of it. Now I might buy one in the future, but as of right now, don't need one. I'm just not getting it out, getting out enough to fly the drone for its own purpose. Even with having all that gear in that bag, I still had plenty of room to actually put other things in there, such as clothes, sleeping bags, cooking systems, and there's just so many more pockets for you to add things, especially the smaller trinkets like chargers, battery backups, snacks, uh, knives, headlamps. I mean, there's just so much. If you're hiking with a dog, you can put their food or their bowls in there. So it's just a pretty freaking awesome bag. Now, after going on this trip to South Lake Tahoe, I can confidently say that this camera bag is actually the perfect bag for me. Now, I would say for the longer trips, definitely when I have the athlete pack from Atlas Pack, that's gonna be the one that's gonna go more on the day trips with me, just because I don't need the extra space and the extra weight that this bag has. Now, when I went on this trip, I packed for a backpacking trip. I was going into the backcountry with my wife and my dog, so I had my sleeping bag, our tent, some cooking supplies, a cooking system, some snacks, uh, things for my dog, water bowl, food, coffee, can't forget the coffee, my god. So I had a lot in this bag, and it was stuffed pretty full. I can't say it was not. I had some clothes in there as well, so it, like I said, it was stuffed. It was, it looked like an Oompa Loompa, I mean, it looked like a hippo, how plump it was. But with that being said, I mean, if you've ever noticed most backpacking bags, they're always super stuffed because you're packing a lot in there. Now, my sleeping bag and my tent are technically not backpacking tents or sleeping bags, so they're a bit larger. Now, I'm sure if I would have the specific backpacking sleeping bag and a backpacking tent, things would be a little bit more compact and more condensed. But with that being said, I, I like the ones I have and they work for me maybe in the future if I go on multiple day treks um, and I am really, really concerned about weight, then potentially I will be switching over to a smaller and more condensed sleeping and, you know, well, yeah, sleeping system, you know, the tent and the sleeping bag. Comfort is a big thing when you go hiking. Now I'm not talking about like glamping where you're more of a glamorous camper, like car camping and things of that nature. I'm talking more about the actual pack and how it sits on your body. Like I was previously saying about the Peak Design bag, it did eventually rub me the wrong way on the shoulders and my collarbones. They were hurting more uh, just because of the lack of padding on the actual straps. Now the actual Atlas bag has thick straps. I mean thick straps. And the cool thing is that if I'm not mistaken, you have three different types of straps that more fit your shoulder size. Now I, I believe I just got the standard one, just the kind of average, the middle, the medium. Uh, this is the large frame though, so you can actually tailor it to different frame sizes. So if you're like a certain height, you can get different sized ones to fit your body better and be more comfortable. Offers three different size waist belts. Actually, I'm sorry. No, it does offer different size. I don't know about three, but it offers different size waist belts. Now they do have them categorized as either the athlete or the adventure. Uh, when I was first purchasing this bag, I thought the athlete was going to be the best one, but then when I actually spoke to the owner, he was stating that for this size of bag, it is definitely more ideal to go with the actual one that is supposed to go with the adventure bag. So 
I did go with the adventure bag and he was 100% right. So thank you for saving me some trouble there. So the bag overall with all those different customizable features really makes it easy to perfectly be, be designed for your body structure and your height. And I'm sure you've noticed that I haven't said anything bad about this bag. And to be honest, I haven't really found anything bad about this bag yet. Now, again, maybe that will change within a few years, but as of right now, I can say that this bag is pretty perfect for me. And again, this is not saying that you guys need to go out there and buy this bag because it is the perfect bag because there is no perfect bag. There is only perfect bags for the situations that you're using them for and the person that is using them. I think the coolest portion of this bag comes down to the camera core. And the name of that camera core that Atlas Packs has, I think it has a patent pending for this, is called the Origami Camera Core. So what that means is that you're actually able to flex in the camera core and flex it out. So if you need more space for your camera gear or if you need more space for the other things such as sleeping wear, camping gear, or whatever the case may be, you can flex it in or flex it out to give you more space in either section. Unlike other manufacturers uh, that make you purchase separate ICUs that would allow you to store camera gear in there, this comes already included in the bag at the price. So for me, it was more of a turn on. I definitely think that that is more ideal. I didn't wanna to have to spend, I mean, I can't remember the exact price of the other brand's uh, bags, but let's just say $300 or more, plus another 50 to $100 for a ICU just to hold my gear. I like the fact that I was actually able to just buy it all one and done and it's there, it's, it's already included, it's awesome. For me, again, using this as a backpacking, backcountry bag, a space was definitely important when I bought it. And they also sell a lot of really cool accessories which are like a net system that go on the back of it. So let's just say if you need more room on the outside of the bag versus the 50 to 70 liter expandable shell that the bag already offers, you can buy that. Uh, now, I do not own one. It's probably gonna be one of the next purchases I make along with the actual athlete bag itself, just so it's easier to carry things when I'm out hiking because I did notice that I would like to have some more outside attachable spots. Uh, there are some on the bag already, but I would just like to have more. So it'd be nice to have that. Alrighty guys, and that's gonna do it for me on this video today. Uh, below, please comment on different bags that you guys have been using or you guys have wanted for a while, or if you have questions about this particular bag, please let me know, I'll gladly answer it for you just because I've used it for a bit now. But like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you liked it.